I chose to do my artist research presentation on the artist Arturo Hira. Hira describes his expressive mark-making techniques as a silent canopy, offering an open interpretation of what his work communicates. The themes of fragmentation and recollection are conveyed through his work, which often repurposes found image from child children's books and cartoons that are warped into abstract forms, such as in his titled, untitled works from 1997 to 1998. Here are some of those examples. Hera's work taps into the viewer's subconscious, offering intertwining fragments on cartoon characters with abstract shapes. Abstraction, chance, and collage, the process. Hare describes what his process is when creating abstract works. He says that abstraction allows him to play with certain boundaries of interaction that aren't always the norm. He talks about how chance is, chance plays a big role in his work when making these black and white photographs. He takes anywhere from two to five photos from different perspectives, hoping that one of them will turn out. And then once the dice is rolled, the images get submerged in water with varying additives like hot water, ice, or coffee, and then they get left up to time. Taking those pictures and hoping that something in one of them will work is how he lets the photograph lead him with his collaging, he allows form and color to be the driving force in creating strong images. He's interested in the fragments that can be glued together to create an image that will have a different perspective than when it started. Music, dance, and language. Expression and inspiration. Being born in Latin America and then living in the United States, Haraj says that his Latin American influence gets transformed into his work with a direct correlation between the visual language and the spoken. Music is related to his art as by way of the thinking. Because music offers no solution, it has no context and is totally subjective making it more about the personal experience of the viewer than anything else. There was an interview of him talking about how he views failures, how they help you learn, but once you invested so much time into a project and it just doesn't work, how heart-crunching that can be. It can be like a double-edged sword. It's in the hope of creating a new and powerful piece of work that keeps him in the studio. He says, if I make an image that is strong enough to some viewers, then my job is done. I'm happy with the image when I feel as if it is a strong image. And if that actual, and if it actually provides someone some kind of emotional, intellectual, nourishment or idea to the viewer, then my job is done. And that's what keeps me going. And it is in this way how I hope to be about my art. That every time you create something, you run that chance of it failing, but that you continue with the hope of creating something that makes the viewer feel that you get to connect with the viewer. That is what makes it all worth it.